guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, actually, this is only the continu uh, continuation of our competition in STAT 2. So, last, uh, we already completed the frequency and percentage, the mean, median, and mode. And this time, we're going to compute the range, the variance, and the standard deviation. So, what is range? When we say range, we, we just only get the maximum amount and the minimum amount. So, you just deduct these two. Okay. So, here we have six sample students who have the average grade uh, this second semester of 2019-2020. So, student 1 got 90% average. Student 2 got 93. Student 3 is 87. Student 4 got 73. Student 5 got 70 and student 6 got 87. So, with the range, we just get the maximum number. So, we have 93 uh, minus the minimum amount of number, which is 70. So, the range is 93 minus 70. So, we have 23. So, that's the range. Okay. So, on computation of variance and standard deviation, the, the first thing that we're going to do is to get the, the mean of the numbers, okay, of the, from the student 1 up to student 6. So, we need to add all those 6 in order to get the, the amount of mean. So, we add it now. So, we have 93 plus 90 plus 87 plus 73 plus 70 plus 87. Divided by 6, so we have, the mean is 83.33%. What about the variance? Actually, uh, you already have the 83.33% mean, so we can now start the computation of variance. Okay, first thing is to make a table, three tables. First one is, we need to put the N. N means the, the, the value of the of the sample or population or a given problem. So we have X1 or N. So we have student 1 is 90, 2 is 93, student 3 is 87, student 4 is 73, student 5 is 70, student 6 is 87. Okay, so we already have the number of N. So, we need to deduct it from the mean. So, our mean is 83.33. So, 90 minus 83.33. So, we have 6.67. 93 minus 83.33. So, we have 9.67. 87 minus 83.33, so we have 3.67. 73 minus 83.33, so we have how much? Negative 10.33. Tama? 83.33 minus 73, so we have 10.33 negative. 70 minus 83.33, so we have negative 13.33. And then we have 87 minus 83.33, so we have positive 3.67. Okay, so what about table number 3? Uh, we already have the x1 minus x, or the number minus the mean. So we, we need to square the number in... Um, the tab table 2 in order to get the result on table 3. So, we have 6.67 squared. So, how much? 6.67 times 6.67. So, we have 44.49. So, 9.67 squared. So, we have 93. Point 51. So, 3.67 squared. So, we have 
you can also compute with me so that uh, you will also know how to compute the uh, table for variance and standard deviation. So we have negative point. 10.33 squared. So, we have 106.71. 13.33 squared. So, we have 177.69. And then, this one, 3.67 squared, we have 13.47. So, what we need to do is, do, is just to add uh, the, the total of it will be the basis for your variance and standard deviation, the last table. So, we, we need to add all these three. So, we have 449.34. So, this one will be our basis now for the computation of variance. So, how to compute variance? So, S2 or variance is equals to x1 minus x squared. Okay. So, we need to know first if it is a population or a sample. So, if it is a population, what we need to do is to is to uh, know how many n or how many numbers or how many students we have. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, this one is a sample for population. Okay? So, this one is mine, uh, divided by 6. But, if the given problem is the sampling, so what we need to do is to get the x1 minus x squared divided by um, the number minus 1. So, there is a difference between the two. So, this one is for population and the other one is for sample or for sampling. Okay. So, we have, we, alre we already have 449.34 divided by 6. And this one is 449.34 divided by 5. So, on the population, the result of the variance is 449.34 divided by 6. So, we have 74.89. So, this is our variance for the, sum, uh, for the population. But for the sampling, we have uh, 449.34 divided by 5. Okay? So, 449.34 divided by 5. 89.87. So, that's the computation of the variance. Okay. So, this time, we're going to compute the standard deviation. This one is very easy because we already know the result on the variance. So, what we need to do is the result on the variance should be... Uh, Compute by means of summation. So, you just sum up summation of x1 minus x squared divided by 6 and then the result is the variance and then you, you just use the summation. So, the result here on the population is how much? 9.48 Okay. What about the result on the uh, using sampling. So, we, you already get the variance of 89.87 for the sampling. So, you just use the summation here. Okay. So, the end result is 8.6534. Okay. So, that's it. So, it's very easy. But, if you cannot compute it manually, you can also use a standard uh, deviation calculator.